Hey guys, we're about to take you guys crabbing this November right here in Beaufort, South Carolina. We're going to be using some fish that we've caught and filleted in two pots. Everybody keeps telling us over and over again that the chicken works better when crab. Sometimes I agree and sometimes I don't. It's, it's all about placement and the time of the year. With our recreational license, we can both crab with two pots each here in South Carolina. I know some of you guys deal with a crabbing season here in South Carolina. We can crab year round. Little pinfish, little grunts. Just fish that we catch when we're offshore fishing and we just take them and stick them in our old bait freezer until it's time to go crab. Great crabbing bait. Right. We love to use the fish and stuff, not because we think it's actually better than the chicken, but you know, being the type of people we are, we look at life like it's a big circle and we want to just use what we already have. And we actually do really, really well with fish. Of course, I think, you know, the fish are crabs natural food, so they, they do like it quite a bit. I think chicken works really good too. And I, and I think maybe it's because of the fact that chicken's something a little unusual. You know, we all get kind of tired of eating the same thing all the time. So when you have something a little different, it draws you to it. So I think that um, oil off the chicken provides a good slick in, in the water and draws those crab right in too. And the chicken that we have, if you can see it down in the bait compartment there, it is a little blue. It has some of that um, crab attractant on it. It's just chicken that we had in the freezer. It's just a blue crab fuel that you can find like at the Bass Pro Shops or maybe online. We had actually used this chicken two times before already crabbing. One time where we was pulling our crab pots with you guys and went back out on the dock crabbing with our little granddaughters with little drop baskets. So this will be the third use on that chicken. So Is we, that cheap enough for you? <laughs> so we do like to reuse and recycle when possible. So there's a good example of that. And I think we even had too much bait. So I'm probably gonna bag that back up and put it right back in our freezer. All of our crab pots do have the yellow crab pot buoys that are required here in South Carolina for recreational crabbers with our name and address on it. So if you're gonna get out crabbing here in South Carolina, or you're thinking about crabbing here in South Carolina, a few things you need. Your recreational fishing license, crab pots, some crab bait, some yellow crab pot buoys, and a marker to put your name and address on them before you set them out. And here in South Carolina, we can leave our crab pots unattended overnight. We can actually leave them out. I think you can check the rules and regulations for yourself, but I believe it's up to four days. some seagulls flying around us checking us out they're checking to see if we're putting anything in the water that they might would like and for you amateurs crabbers out there or ones that don't know anything about crabbing this is a fuel four cubic foot trap it has a bait compartment that you put your bait in right here with a little door there some of them may be be designed different these this pot in particular has four entrances which the pot is upside down now these four entrances right here allows crabs to go in and since they're funnel shaped it's hard for the crabs to find the way out once they're inside of that they can make it to the bait itself they can eat off of it but if they ever go up through here in the center and go up there is a V right here. And you can see it's funnel shaped also with an opening in the top. So when they go up in here, they get stuck in this top part. It's hard for them to find their way 
back down through the trap to the bait so it allows you to crab longer with the bait you're using this chicken and fish with it stuffed in these pots should last several days several days of crabbing you can get out of a you know just baiting your pots right the first time and we do have a pretty good tide swing here the fluctuation in tide averages anywhere from four on a low up to about eight to nine foot tide swing so the the current here can get um pretty swift so that's why you see there's a rebar attached to the bottom for just for the weight of it and that helps hold the pots down in in the current so that way when you put a pot somewhere it's likely going to be in the same spot when you come back if you don't have enough weight on it the tide and you know the movement of the water can shift those pots around and possibly pull them into deeper areas that if you don't have an extremely long rope on like this one's actually got a really long rope where some of these other ones have shorter ropes if that pot gets shifted around into those deeper waters you won't be able to find your buoy just because it'll be underwater so if you ever do lose a buoy go back at low tide to those areas and you might be able to find it So he's got this one stuffed to the brim. Those little pinfish and grunts. Here that egret. And that was the tricolored, I believe, the little heron that flew by us. One thing with dealing with these old crab pots, if your crab pots are getting old like mine, is always keep a bunch of tie straps on hand, guys. You come across a hole in your pot and it's about time to get rid of them, go ahead and pull out some tie straps and fix the hole. See right here? Well, I'm glad you spotted hole? that. So this trap right here, it's about time for me to go ahead and replace it, or it may be been already time to replace it but just to get us through this trip i'm just going to zip tie them and this is the things that you'll look for in your trap just look for simple things that the crabs may may be able to get out of this piece right here is all but come out this wire that they use on these crab traps it is coated in a like a rubber coating and if it ever gets bent in a spot it's just going to continue to rust through that wire yeah the salt water tears everything up time for some new traps it's always something and if you're looking for some crab traps here in the Beaufort, South Carolina area, you can check down at the Beaufort Marine Supply. They have anything you need out on the water for commercial guys and recreational crabbers, shrimp in them, shrimp nets, trawl nets, cast nets. They have a little bit of everything. boat anchors, gloves. I think we'll make it on through this trip as long as we can get it where the crabs can't find their way out. And another thing that I always like to do is check the entrances on my traps. I give you a look at how I determine what I think is right. So most of the time with these traps, you want it about where you could put your hand in there, but it'd be snug. You know, the closing from the top to the bottom and about as wide as your hand. 
that way you know a crab's not very tall they can go in sideways they get in there and they can't come out I think these traps, like I said, they're getting pretty dilapidated. These have lasted me, what, about three years, four, somewhere in that neighborhood. And we have patched them up along the way, this way and that way, just like you see me doing. But the, they usually cost in our area right now, these traps completely ready to go with the rebar and the rope and the buoys and everything on them, you're gonna be somewhere around the $100 neighborhood per trap, ready to go, ready to crack, without the bait. Yep. Guess all you need at that point is just your bait and a marker. Somebody's calling, they probably wanna go crabbing too. Uh, he can't go today. <laughs> nope, nobody's gonna make it here in time. We about to haul off. telemarketer anybody get those kind of calls everybody gets those telemarketer calls everybody's everybody wanting you to buy something those telemarketer calls. And now how about that guy that calls about the insurance all the time yeah your car warranty oh man we've been looking for you for your car warranty is out yeah, that's right sometimes if you don't even own a car We're just putting the plugs in the back of the boat here and about to get us where we can roll out. I hope it'll crank. I hope so. We're gonna about to see. It's been what, over a month since we fired it up? I don't know, it's too long, I know that. We've been ready for some crab. We've been saying we were coming crabbing for a while and hadn't been able to make it. So we're glad to be able to go with you guys. I've got it untied already. Just got to get shifted back. He's just sliding it along this little floating dock here. I feel. Let me go ahead and get in. Out here. I'm always looking for a day to go crab. It is gorgeous. These blue skies. We are thankful for the pretty afternoon. It was quite gray and a little cloudy and rainy this or misty this morning. So glad now that we actually have a chance to get out here that it's cleared up quite a bit. Beautiful little ride, a little stroll through these marsh creeks. And all the area that we are about to carry you guys out of, this whole area right through here, it actually dries up on low tide. We have um, water in this area about four out, eight hours, for about eight hours, and then dry for about four. So we're going to keep these um, crab pots in a pattern. We'll throw one chicken, one fish, one chicken, and then the last fish. 
That way, you know, we give them both the opportunity of catching crabs. We hope they all catch crabs. here past the dock we're into a curve right here and usually the outside of the curves in these rivers are going to be deeper so we're going to put this crab pot right here in this area right here which is probably 10 to 15 foot give me one second step uh -oh. we're busted up there again on that one we're having a time with our crab pots Let's try to just mend that thing back together real quick. Oh man. It's time for some new pots for salty reflections, new crab pots. And guess what? We left the tie straps back at the house. Wow. I think that'll hold it. It'll still be hard for a crab to push his way out of that mess there. I'm sure. I hope so. I'm pretty sure of it. Turn around a little bit and get this deep shot. Right there looks pretty good, Steph.
the chicken. All right. We're gonna go to the fish on the next. So when we're pulling these traps. I'm gonna have to remember fish, chicken. Nope, chicken. Chicken first. Fish, chicken, fish. We'll pull them in the same order we set them out when we come back around. So you guys can remember that throughout the video. It's up to you guys to remember things just like I have to remember. Them. So the first one's definitely gonna be fish. like this little spot right here because there's a lot of entrance that's coming out of these marsh creeks back in here and the crabs when they're flooding out of the marsh they move with the tide so we're going to drop a pot right here to our left ready right there good job Steph awesome work Even though the big river is right here guys what I like to do is come up in this little creek right here a little bit to the point where I know there's still water coming off of the big river right there so we're gonna put that what's the next one we're putting out guys chicken remember You guys can always leave us a comment let us know how the crabbing's going in your area or even if you can crab at this time all the information in the comments is always appreciated it helps others to look through our comments and determine what's going on in other areas of the world right here will be good stuff it's a deep channel right here guys 
probably about eight foot right there six to eight we've got one more pot to set out if the commercial crabbers ain't already in that spot we've caught some nice nice crabs there so we're gonna run across the river to one of my favorite spots side there be great stuff we're crabbing we are crabbing we're crabbing guys we'll see you guys in a few seconds we're back ready to pull some crab pots our way around this oyster rake that's under here we gotta get our crab pot that's right over here man we got a little bit too close to this oyster rake coming right across the top of the one that i set out last with you guys it's right up here got a little close on this oyster rake was bumping the bottom with the motor there but we're gonna get this crab pot If it wasn't for these crab pots being already set out today, I probably wouldn't even go check them, guys. But since they're already out, we're going to check them with you guys. Been working on old, old shrimp boat, the drag queen, trying to keep it running and stuff. Things ain't looking good. <laughs> but we're keeping a smile on our face. And we're going up here to pull this crab pot with you guys, the one that's baited with the fish first. I have brought two baskets with us so we can see which one is doing the best, the fish or the chicken. Everybody says the chicken does best. We're going to see today. This crab pot here is the only one that we have set out in the big river. And we got that one back there with that chicken right off of the big river. So it should do just as good. Oh, oh man. Oh, shucks. Is it heavy? Can you help me? Jesus, man. I'm helping take our saltaholics along oh, with dude. us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yummy. Look at here. Yummy, yummy. Look at here. Oh, I see some big ones, Look too. Here. Man, this makes me want to eat some crab. Keep crabbing. I, <laughs> I was kind of discouraged about coming out here and pulling these crab pots, but I'm happy now. I see some big ones, too. Man, that, that brought me some energy back guys thank y'all thank y'all for living along look at here i mean there's some big jimmies in here yeah buddy big jimmies big male blue crabs that's what i'm talking about i don't even see a soup 
We'll see. You know the sook is, right? The female crab. This thing has huge crabs in it. Wow. Somebody in my family is going to enjoy these. Oh, yeah. This is going to take me like an hour to get this thing. I did. I don't know how. I keep saying it over and over that these crabs here in South Carolina, they just don't give up. They <laughs> hold on. I got to get us away from this grass a little bit. The wind is drifting us into it. Try to get these things up out. Wow. Nice, nice. And I don't think I see any that aren't keepers. This is a $50 pool on this crab pot right here. $50 worth of crabs, easy. That's in some of these areas out here that people's telling me. Oh, look at that one. He's holding on. Big rusty one. I don't know why. Can you see his can rusty you give shell? Can gauge stuff so I can tap him a little bit? Wake him up a little bit? Got that rusty shell just because he has not shed that's his shell world. lately. Well, that's why, on, that's why they get that rusty shell like that. Y'all communicate. Everything else is going bad for me now. Y'all can at least try to come on out the trap and make it easy on me today. Come on, dude. Shake, shake, shake. That's a big boy. Dang. Shake, shake, shake. Shake these crabbies. Shake them on out. Shake them on out. Tap them on out. <laughs> Come on, fella. Let Come it go. On, dude. We ain't gonna we let you go. No, don't tell stories. We, we ain't gonna let not, you go. We ain't gonna let you go. We're gonna put you in a pot. Well, he definitely ain't gonna come out there. Dude, what is your problem, man? I'm about He's to a fighter, though. I'm about to give up on this fall, huh? Yeah, he's a tough boy. He's moping on your side, oh. all the way back to you. Even see it. Oh, there we go. Wow. Just look for the small ones, and let's put the gauge on the end one that you see small. A 48 hour soak guys it was 48 hours two days two nights darn that fish there came back alive Yes. 
What you gonna do with these crabs? I'm probably gonna have them as part of our Thanksgiving. What? Thanksgiving? Yeah, buddy. Well, let's eat them before then. Looks like our lens is a little dirty. Okay, I think our lens was a little dirty, guys. But, uh, hey, we're bringing you guys crabbing. You know, crabbing ain't clean work, right? I'm trying to get this fella turned over. Uh, That's a nice one there. There we go. 16. That one's going to be hard to beat, I believe. And, um, you know, don't tell any of your other friends where I showed you where that hole is back there. Keep that to yourself. going on is somebody checking that one pot or did they check it or did the uh, crabs just not get in that one spot you can put four in a row and i bet it'd still be like that i don't know well, i'm starting to put four in a row they all might be empty all right here we go i bet we, i bet this one's gonna be loaded too i'm hoping I certainly hope so. We may end up with maybe a bushel if we keep going at that rate. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, the chicken. Uh oh, chicken. Well, fish for the wind so one far. Thing, one thing we, we, we do have to give this chicken credit that we have used it three times. So, Three times the crab that's in here. A little one up there. We still can't determine if the chicken worked better or the fish. That that chicken's been used over and over again. How many crabs has it caught? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Basket for the chicken are back there. Man, this thing. We got two whelk shells, and it looks like one, two, three, four keepers, maybe. Got to get that snake and bait. Whelk shells, crab shells, a little bit of everything. You know, the whelk with the hermits out. Them hermits might be off the crab bait, too. Yep. Yeah, and they're all carnivores. They enjoy meat, so they um will go after anything that's got meat in it, just like the blue crabs will. All right, guys. I got a little bit discouraged on this one here. And the next one. I hope it picks my spirits back up. So that whelk's got a little slipper right there beside my index finger right there. And then there's hermit crabs in both of those. So we'll we let got those go. the size of this guy and this guy right here, Steph. Keeper. Keeper. Keeper, okay. So, that, so that, them crabs right there, guys, they really don't even look like keepers compared to that big guy right there. Give me that gauge, Steph. Mash that crab down and let me get him out of there. He's a huge boy. Look at this. Look at that, what a big Jimmy. See? They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Man. So, so there only, were five. only five out of that pot with the chicken. Yeah, we'll chicken, still got, chicken still got yep. an opportunity to come back, guys. Because even though that first crab pot that we set out the other day with the chicken was back here in this uh, shallow creek, 
it's in a deep hole and we usually do pretty good there but that fish when we put out it's got a real good chance of doing good too because it's in that marsh creek where all those little creeks are feeding out right there beside it so, so who knows what you guys think yeah before you go any further in the video let me know guys what y'all think the results are going to be today is the fish going to beat the chicken or the chicken going to beat the fish what you think Steph? Uh, from the way it looks like that's got a quite a bit of a comeback to beat the fish I believe so we'll see but I, I'm gonna say the fish is gonna get this one That's our military planes, you know, the ones that fly and protect us. 
so the sound the roar in the sky we refer to it here in south carolina or Beaufort, south carolina as the sound of freedom and we can't be more thankful for these guys that put their life on the line for our well-being and this pot has oh, God, again. No mercy guys what is going on here Oh, what? man. What? Wait a minute, man. What the heck? This crab pot here looks like somebody's messed with. I don't know. I can tell. It ain't much. This is the fish. Yeah, this is the so, fish. So, hey. Yeah. Now we're up to 17 crabs because there's three in here, four. And oh. three of them are just little tiny crabs. So, what area is doing the best? Remember? We was also testing that. What area did the best so far? The big river, maybe. Got to find the gauge and drop it back here. Watch yourself. There's only one crab in there that will stay and the rest of them going back in. We can see that. Yeah, that no big gauge. rusty one is the one you that's don't need no gauge on these hitting the stay. I appreciate it, baby. You know. Crabbing ain't easy, but it sure is. Yeah, y'all two need to grow, get back in there and grow up a little bit. One thing I do like about this crabbing here, this little Yamaha always cranks up and goes. It ain't like that <laughs> third shrimp boat with that Mark Cruiser, I can tell you that. I may have to put a diesel motor in that there and park it. Fish this little fella back out of here. Come on, crab. Come on, bait. Oh, get here. Okay. Any of you guys like getting down and down and dirty? If you do, try blue crab crab. You can get real dirty at this. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's squishing me. <laughs> it's too heavy for a kid. All right. All right. This one was too little, so he gets to go back. I was admiring uh, the red tips on his claws, though. You need to count these crabs one more time. There's only 17 in there. Count them one more time just to make sure. Oh, we get right. last pop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yep. Seventeen yeah. fish. <laughs> Ain't no way you can count them crabs that good, stuff. Well, well I did. Let me count. I want to do it too. Oh, man. I got the lid stuck on the top. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16. I see 18. There's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. What? I'm counting 18 crabs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm counting 17 oh, still. Oh, <laughs> we ain't got time for all this arguing. Right? Who's arguing? All right. I'm counting. One, two, three. There's four, five, six. There's the one down there. Yep. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Did we count that one? Seventeen, yep. eighteen. <laughs> no, you counted you that one twice. Go back for one more time. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> I'm okay. Like, you count them again when you get home if you want to. We'll call it 17. Possibly. <laughs> no, there's 17. I don't really care. It may not even be a close race. Yeah, I'm still getting 17. I know none of you guys could keep track because we didn't like sort them one by one. Right. Say, here's, here's one, one, here's, here's two. Here's three. <laughs> That, I know y'all would have do, but now y'all don't. Y'all can pause that screen though if you want and count them with us and see. It ain't gonna do no good. Some of you guys probably can't count. <laughs> we we like can't it. count straight sometimes either. They probably Look like at me. them all holding hands. Consoling each other.
each other. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. definitely only five in this pot Wait so minute, far. Alright guys, this is the one that I was thinking we may get a comeback on the chicken. It is a like I told you guys right now, it's probably still 10 foot or 12 foot right here. And I think the deeper water makes a difference. When, when it's uh, cold like this, our water temperature is already down to about 62 here. It was 65 degrees here today. And our water temperature, like I'm saying, is somewhere around 62 now. Oh, great God, who the heck put this long rope on this thing like that? They must have thought they was crabbing out in the Gulf Stream or something. <laughs> Hey, Lord. What? Uh-uh. Oh, uh, uh, wow. Uh-uh. Somebody's been checking my trap. <laughs> Got to be. Maybe it's because it's the third juice on the chicken. I sure am glad we decided to put that one last pot in the big river. Yeah, because that one's one, the two, one three, who did four. the deal. There's four keepers in here, guys. And you got the five right here that's nine on the chicken. And there was 17, possibly 18. <laughs> no, 17. I'm when I get back home, y'all never know. It's going to be 17. We appreciate you guys coming along. Just like I said, this chicken has been used several times. I really can't even tell you. crabs that we have caught using that same chicken so it could be the one that won all along because that fish i know it wasn't used but once. yeah we know it wasn't used but once and it actually still would have been good to leave out here but we know we're not going to have time in the next couple days to come back and check them so we gotta kind of pick up our crab pots and take them home well, we were hoping to make two rounds on this bait with y'all guys and make another video to share another video with you put it all incorporated into this video but we went truck trawling yesterday offshore had trouble with the boat been working on it all day so you guys say a little prayer for us yeah we got back way later last night than we thought we were going to we thought we were going to get back in time to come out and check these pots late yesterday afternoon but it was way after dark by the time we even got back in the shrimp boat Wait a minute. I want to say so, something before we go. We appreciate you guys, though. Yeah, Thanks. One thing Love y'all. I want to say, guys, is one good thing about getting older in life that I'm noticing is we start to realize that everything really doesn't matter. And as long as me and Steph made it back from our shrimping trip unharmed, these material things in life we can fix eventually or we can just let them go it really don't matter your life your health your family your friends and the people you love that's the most important thing appreciate you guys coming along on another video you guys take care of stay safe and continue this journey of life in the right direction so there is the chicken got to get that little fella out of there and don't forget hit the like button please we, we need, need to check that one we need to oh, that's a keeper so two four six eight nine <laughs> there let me ask you guys a question and 17 there if you don't continue to hit that like button Who's going to bring you out here, putting in all this work, this effort, getting muddy, getting dirty, besides the old country boy like me and a country girl like this? Yeah, show us some love. Show us some love. We're putting in the work, the time, and the effort. We're real people just like you guys. Yep. Out here having fun, making videos to share with the world. Appreciate you guys for coming along. So 17 and 9, total of... What? Let's see. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'll save y'all. 26. 26. 26. So, catch y'all on the next so one. Was, from the last couple uh, months ago, we made the video where we 
come out and crab them with you guys and we caught 42 keepers up on pop. Maybe the crabs are slowing down or maybe they have moved out of these shallow creeks because that's where we were, uh, all our pots were set last time. The only pot that did good today that I would say was good was the one out in the big river. So if you're going to crab this area right now, get out into deeper water where the uh, crab or the temperature of the water may be a little bit warmer. I guess I, you could say that, but really, you know, that area where we had the pot. It's real shallow. It was shallow. Maybe they were coming out of the deep area into the shallow area out of that big river. Yep, and there's one little fella back there in the back corner I have got to get out. So one question to all of you out there that's been watching. How many crabs did we throw back today? Including this one. Got to count this one too.